Was meet you in the kingdom is falling out the Yahushua. Who has told me like three, four different things? And I'm trying to figure out what to actually talk to y'all about. What can I talk to y'all about right now? And one thing that I can talk to y'all about is the Yahushua code. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. Y'all niggas ain't for you, see? Me accepting them whoppers impossible. This is beyond me. Plant based is beyond me. It's where the truth and the lies me. Some partners with that pot of meat. But high stakes tried in the fire. To King's blood flow inside of me. See the king's blood flow inside of me. Quick with that drink order. Unsweet and follow to the T. Oh, yeah. Gratitude for gratuity. Yeah. New driving you, ingenuity. Yeah. It's the I and you, that's the code in me. Yeah. And it's the cheat code. No Atari, that's already that's beast mode. Beast no more starring, departed from least mode. The million and power, the priest fold. Yeah. Be ready for the sequel. That's eternity, straight up to your peep hole. No escape, creator of the earth. And the one separated at birth, that's my people. My, my blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood, my tribe, my fam that sticks right here. My blood. Still go to war with the sapphire armor, screaming Yahoo to the beat of the drummer. Rumbles, shaking the earth, cause the sun's been awakened from dirt. By the bond of the covenant words, the alarm was a show our verse. Is that Yahushua code? Only the family knows. Let's go. I got everything I need, I ain't lacking for nothing. Yahushua's righteous, see, yes, the kingdom is buzzing. Sapphire and me and my aunties and cousins, my Niagara Falls. 
everybody together, but every, also everybody separate. And these separate people have their own identities. You might go to the Jewish community, they have their own identity. You might go to the Italian community, they have their own identity. You might go to the Irish community, they have their own identity. So when they hear all these things, they don't vary from the identity, base identity they already have. They might indulge in it, they might listen to it, they might even adopt certain elements of it, but they don't make it their, their whole meditation. Because if you have, you don't have any identity, if you have no concept of, of anything, then you will just gravitate to whatever your, um, your norm becomes. And people can make suggestions about how you should live your life, how you should um, spend your time, uh, money, effort, uh, desire, trying to do. So they tell you that you need to be in the streets, go be in the streets. They tell you you need to be in massage, it's going to be in massage. They tell you you need to be uh, in, in drug culture, it's going to be in drug culture. Because you don't have any culture in the first place. So this is the reason why I, this, this movie is almost like an atom bomb to the psyche when you really understand the rich, 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 rich history of Athens and the Hebrews. Uh, this, this whole uh, connection has been lost for centuries, but it's true. Heavily documented, I don't know if I'm going over today, you know, I, I showed this, this is what I'm saying. Because <laughs> it's a lot of information. But the idea is that it's so much information about it. It's in uh, Cambridge, it's in Yale, it's at uh, Princeton, it's at Duke University uh, Seminary. All these, this information we've never heard about ourselves and when we have that base, we understand who we are. Now nobody can come with a different image to set us in a different direction. Now we have a complete concept of who we were and where we're going. So those are a lot of words, but in a nutshell, that's the reason why this is so important for the next generation. Because if we don't, if they don't have that, we're going to assimilate into uh, this melting pot of ideas that's been given to us in a lot of cases by our persons. Thank you so much. Our identity matters. If you have, you know your identity, you can do anything. And, you know, it's just the way you buy push you to do this because it makes you comfortable in your own skin. And when you make decision, you make the right decision. Exactly. So we need movies like this, films like this that talk about identity so that if we can change the subject matter to identity, I think we'll go further. Right. We'll play a lot of force in our way. Thank you so much for coming to this festival. We appreciate you, man. Your film reclaiming the throne. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't watched this tweet, go and watch it. You will understand a lot of things about we black people from Africa. Right. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, first of all, baby, it has been estimated that over one million Hebrews. All right, yeah, I didn't get to your answer. The first thing I want to do is I want to give praises to the Most High Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua. Uh, for giving me this opportunity to be able to do this. I want to thank the Hamilton Film Festival, which is phenomenal. It's phenomenal if I get a man. Uh, I want to thank everybody that helped us, everybody uh, in Rebirth, everybody at D28. Uh, it's been a long process. <laughs> Three years of gathering this information and putting this work, and it is truly being moving. Um, I thought you got to go on. I also want to thank um, everybody, all the partners that invested in helping us. This is a three-year journey in order to get this completed, done. We thank our wives and our family for allowing us the time to be able to get this done. And just the whole research family at D28 Productions that help us build these stages in order to get this established. And the Black, again, Hamilton Black Film Festival, thank everybody. Salaries are black, and the white scholar tells us all about their history. He worked in a museum, but he never mentioned <laughs> that they were black, right? So when I'm kind of in the edit and I'm putting it together, I didn't really know much about that history then. And I'm like, so why are they saying that they're black? Why do you want to say nothing? We go and research, so I started looking up like ancient Roman texts, right. and, and Tacitus is a Roman historian, right. and he describes the Silures as dark brown complexion right. and black curly hair, and I'm like, what? So then I'm like, oh great, so we added that in our first film. Now we're just, through this project, we've now been commissioned to turn this project into some educational modules for schools and universities. So in part of this project, we're also looking at the ancient Celtic people. And so we're now like, oh wow, so actually, he described the Silures, and there's no description about the other four or five tribes there, right? So I'm like, they all have the same language, the same culture, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Europeans try and say that, that he described them because that he's different to them. But I'm like, they all share the same language, right. same culture. I'm like, they were all black. Right. I'm like, actually, when you really check when the light-skinned people came into the UK, it wasn't until about five, six, maybe 700 years AD when, mm -hmm. when the Anglo-Saxons invaded, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not even the Saxons, but the Anglo-Saxons. The Anglo-Saxons, yeah, 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 the Anglos, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the Franks and the Dukes and them kind of people, right? So when them all came in, and then the Vikings later on, but they didn't come until like the ninth century, right? So you know what I mean? So all those people before that, like Budicea, they were all black. 
<laughs> we better we better run into Doctor Ben. So, so yeah, so I got all, I got this much information about subject. Oh, oh so, yeah, yeah, I've been diving into that's the next the next series the next season. So it's, it's going to be specifically on that. Yeah, so so like, we're doing this for an education film, not even for film, but we're thinking about in future things that maybe making like because we're based in, she's based over there. Yeah, okay, it's back and forth working over there. Where, 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 where these guys live is all in the Siluri's territory. Right? Oh wow, yeah. so it's crazy. Yeah, that's what's out of here. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, um, so I even trust. So this is what you're gonna learn. I ain't gonna get. We've been talking all day about this. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what you're gonna learn about America, Black Americans. So um, you're dealing with the slave trade, right? All right. So if you really study the slave trade. So that's one thing you'll learn about this movie. The slave trade didn't start in Africa. No. Right. It started, it started in, in it started in Portugal. Right. Right. But those people that was there in Spain and Portugal, blacks that lived there, we were doing bad slaves for that, years. That, that right. white slaves. Right. 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 Yeah. Like the word slave comes from the slaughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. but during that time, what happened was it's really about the persecution by the Catholics of the Jews that was in Spain and Portugal. The Jews and the Moors basically ruled Port, um, mm -hmm. Spain and Portugal for like 700 years. Yeah. Then you had the Gothics coming out from the north and uh, basically scattering them and bringing them into slavery. Eventually, they started moving them from that port and um, and Lipson, and they started bringing them to Brazil. Later on, so there was a document that was on that was written. Um, by law, they didn't bring nobody from Africa. Right. So all the original slaves that came to America were native Portuguese blacks, oh, wow. mm -hmm. and they were known as the Portuguese Jews. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's it's one. It's in thing. the document. It's in the document. Sure. So oh, wow, yeah. wow, wow. it's crazy. So going back to the next step, we be talking about the whole thing about um, Britain and um, you know Scotland, and Ireland. So this is the thing, though. So you start looking at the numbers of slaves that came to America. So if you go, so majority of the slaves that came to America. Um, where majority of them came, went to Brazil. So even when they started, like, because they took a certain amount of slaves, um, when they started writing documents and paper bulls, so they started creating, um, like, slave ports in, like, San Tome, and then eventually Angola and some other places in Africa. So people was deported from Spain to Portugal, brought to their territory, raised up from the age of, like, 13. They was put under what they called godparents. This is where the term godparents came from. It was Catholics who raised them to be Christians, because yeah. mm -hmm. none of them was Christians at the time. Right. Raised them up, and then started exporting them um, eventually to the states. But even when you look at those numbers about those slaves that actually came, you're talking about, compared to the number of slaves that went to South America to North America, you're talking about three to one. So if you really think about the actual numbers of slaves that came to America, it was a, it was a bunch. But in the grand scheme of things, you're talking about 30, 33 million or 40 million blacks in America, it's like a drop in a bucket. So you ask yourself, where did all these other blacks come from? Right. If two to three times more people went to, to Brazil, yeah. then how do we have all these blacks in America? So this way it goes back to you talking about yeah. Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Because you start talking about the original blacks that was there. If you go back to the time of, um, again, the time of uh, Cromwell and the Cromwellian um, war that took place. And when they start loading up blacks, so, like, so this week, this will get wild. All right. So if you, it's this this um, registry, and it's called um, it has something to do with the Jacobites, but it's a Jacobite registry of the Irish that was brought from Ireland and brought to the states. So you can go look at the um, the muster roll. Mm -hmm. On the muster roll, you see all the Irish that were brought. It will say black, 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 black. Brown, oh, black, shit. black, black, black. <laughs> On the list, they all yeah. take it with zero. Yeah, exactly. Send me that. Right. <laughs> Send me that. I want to see that. Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm clocking. And you know what? They had a language like the ancient Celts. They had like a organ. Right. Like these inscriptions. Mm -hmm. So like they, the Europeans like to say they didn't have no language, but they had like they were doing like gold works. They were making gold yeah. coins. Yeah. They, they had gold coins before the Romans came. And actually, a lot of it looks like the Egyptian. Like I've right. seen these gold pieces, these chess pieces. That just you, if you see it, you'll think, right, that's from Egypt. Right. That was found in Wales, yeah. like 1600 years BC. Right. But I mean, so going forward, all those blacks were the ones who were pushed out of England, and then they congregated more in Ireland. They were the ones that survived longer in Ireland. Right. And then we know that the, you know, the first people of the, the Anglo's or the Saxons. Anglo-Saxons really started to enslave was the Welsh right. and, and the Irish. So you go back to the Anglo-Saxons, they were just the Germanic tribes of North Germany. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So it, if you go back during that time period, if you look at all of Southern Germany, I mean, so, Southern Germany and most of Southern Europe was run by blacks. Blacks was all of them. They lived in Spain, they lived in Portugal, they lived in France. 
So, but when they start getting driven out, as far as, in fact, John Ogilvy, the royal cartographer of Great Britain, he got a book, um, Description of Africa. And in that book, he talk about when them people were deported and brought to Africa. He gets all the dates. It's like, it's like a series of like, um, I think like seven different dates. He's talking about the specific places in Europe when people was deported, blacks were deported from Europe and brought to Africa, and then eventually sold their slaves or indentured servants. Mm. So, and that's why, because I always know that a lot of African Americans for time have been saying that a lot of the blacks are indigenous here. Right, right, right. So I've read like the Mali um, Masa Musa, yeah, his, yeah. his brother sent a ship I can't move to the Americas. Yeah. So like they came here. And then the ancient Egyptians potentially came they there. Right, right. The right. Times, you know what I'm saying? So it's all the the world. Yeah. And then, no, and then. We got it, we got it, we got it. But, one thing, one thing. Just one of the revelations will come out is the number of indigenous servants that came from Scotland and Ireland. That's the reason why probably about 80% of blacks in America have Irish, Scottish names. My last name, the given name, is Cullens. Cullen. Right, so when you, you trace back my ancestry, you're gonna take you back to that same territory. It's gonna take you back to Cullen, um, Ireland, right? Or Cullen, Scotland, you know, that's my getting mixed up. But anyway, so the territory of Cullen the Moor. Cullen the Moor was King, um, King Cullen in that territory. There's a, a, a council there called Castle Cullen. Mm -hmm. Cullen the Moor in Moray, Scotland. Moray, Scotland, yeah. And the Moor was linked to the black. Right, right, right. So anyway. And like the Picts. Yeah. Big tribe of Scotland. Go look, go um, look up ancient um, and modern Britain. Yeah, I know that book. What that book? That book. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got that. My man. Yeah, it's cool. yeah, it's cool. Definitely hit me back, man. Let's continue the conversation. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. All right. Appreciate everybody. All our partners from all over the world. This right. is something that's exclusively for you. We here at the Black Hamilton Black Film Festival. And because of your support, because of your love, and you can see where the movie is going now, uh, all over the world, got an award. Best director for the film, Reclaiming the Throne, you already know what time it is, um, at one of the most um, up and coming, groundbreaking film festivals out there, the Hamilton Film Festivals. Uh, Buzzy, can you, can you get it? Yeah. All right, thanks. Pies. 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 I'm gonna say it right. I'm gonna get that. <laughs> this is the man. He gotta be I'm on telling, camera. Man. This is the man. Right? He set this thing up, man. His, his beautiful wife. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. His beautiful wife did a great job. I mean, it's phenomenal. They came and they welcomed us. They have some phenomenal films, um, even outside of uh, what y'all know as far as, as we're claiming it's wrong. I mean, movies like. Um, um, Toronto Hotel. That's right. Um, what's the uh, another film that won a lot of awards? Um, Fine and Sally. Yeah, Fine, Fine and Sally, Sally, which is man, that's that's groundbreaking. Yeah. So he was able to host this and give us a chance to come here and, and give us this recognition. So we really appreciate him and his team. If you up here in Hamilton, make sure you go. You make sure you come here the next time. We have it at the Westdale. It's gonna be at the Westdale next time. Next time. Next year. Next year. We're gonna choose about three theaters next year. Three. Okay. okay. Hey. So hey, be ready for it because hopefully we're gonna be here with another project. That's right. They had 24 films and nine. Different different countries right. which is amazing and they started three years ago so we want y'all to look them up support them as much as you can the films that they have black independent films please watch and support also oh, thank y'all so much also we will be coming back in Canada it'll be July the 7th and we desire our um, partners to, to share with us and it's something a big event that we're going to do later on in Toronto in the year you'll find out the information about that we'll put that out um, so you can get it um, let us know even more ways that we can have you involved so you can let you know that wherever we go you going with us right. hallelujah. hallelujah so just we love y'all we want to do some exclusives and I'll let y'all know this is this is what the movie is doing. <laughs> we out I love y'all and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Airport. We're heading home. See if you got any last words for the people before we head on. Hey, we saw what coming. Got everything done, man. Ready to get on back home now.
Right, beautiful time. Shout out to um, Hamilton Black Film Festival in Hamilton, Canada. Uh, had a great time. I uh, got that uh, the Regis Award. He did a fantastic job. Uh, crazy Hoosh. Oh, yeah. The mountain was colder, colder. Elevate like an escalator and meet you who are with smoking, smoking. Refine like fire, that's golden, golden. Elevate like an escalator and meet you who are you chosen, chosen. Try to add it, mine like Moses. He divine on roses. Sprouting up, round it up. Eat the word, he throws us. Try to add it, mine like Moses. He divine on roses. Sprouting up, round it up. Eat the word, he throws us. Try to add it, mine like Divine on roses, sprouting up, round it up, eat the word he throws us. Uh oh. 